everyone welcome thanks so much for stopping in i'm Raina, and in today's boxes and deals i have my um coin and currency club and coin and currency club i actually nominated you'll if you're watching my videos um you'll hear me mention the year of boxes subscription box awards because of several of these i actually nominated their nominations were until august 15th and you can nominate um, your favorite subscription boxes per category, and you could even add in additional categories that you would like to see featured. And then, of course, if they get enough votes, they might add that as well. Um, and I think, I believe if a sub subscription got more than five votes, then they would be included in the next round of voting, I believe, if I understand it correctly. Anyway, so Coin and Currency Club, I actually nominated in the category other for um, the category that I suggested as hobbies and collectors. Now, they did have a um, category of, what's it called, geeks and gaming, but you know, there's a lot of subscriptions just in that category alone, but I feel like collectors and hobbies might be even um, different. So I included it as a collectors or hobbies box. Um, what it is, is each month you get a banknote and coin from a different country every month, and that country will also come with the a um, beautiful postcard with some information on the back about that country and what I like to do is to kind of google a little bit of extra information about that country as well and I think that the some of the information that's on the cards kind of prompts some things to look up about the country that are unique or that things that I wouldn't have known to even look up so I love that about it. It's very educational. Um, they think this is a great subscription for coin collectors, for travelers, for school teachers, for students, for there's anybody that's um, interested in geography or interested in other cultures or countries or interested in coin collecting. So it's, there's a lot of um, people that this subscription would be great for and it's very affordable at only $11 per month and you get um, excellent condition like I don't think the money that you get in your pack each month I don't think I think it's money that has not been circulated so this month's country is Kazakhstan now I don't know I it might be pronounced Kazakhstan um, my brother actually was stationed there during, right after the Gulf War. So back in, what was that, 98, something like that, around that time, 97. Um, so he was over there during that time. Rough, rough stories as well. Um but we are just thankful he came back with his life because there, I will say, were some close calls for him. So thankfully he's still <laughs> alive and well and actually going to be a missionary to Australia, him and his family are. So um, Kazakhstan, this uh, gorgeous photo on the front is Big Almaty Lake. I don't know if I'm, and I never, I forgive me because I barely know English and <laughs> barely can speak it I should say but um so I know I butcher the names um, of these from that are on these cards but I do the best I can but that is a gorgeous photo and on the back here is their flag And then this is how you say the country in their language, right here. And the capital of Kazakhstan is Nur Sultan, formerly, let me get my glasses on, formerly um, 
Astana. Their currency is called Tang or Tang. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Population is over 18 uh, million. Language is Kazakh. Kazakh. Um, GDP per capita is almost 10,000 as of 2018. So there's that information. And the country is right. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. Right there. So, of course, as you probably know, that's Russia over here. I'm not going to try to tell you what the other countries are. I used to know my geography, and that was one of my favorite subjects in high school and college. <laughs> that's been a minute. Um, and then Lake Candy is gorgeous. And then uh, a presidential palace, Ak Orda, and a canyon, Sharon. Look at these gorgeous pictures. Wow. Beautiful. All right. And I'll show you the money and then they give you a little. I love that they've been including a little more information and in especially about the um, what you might find on the banknote. So the banknote or the money. Um, I'm never sure which is the front and which is the back, but it's 200 ting, I'm guessing. My cat's going crazy if you hear the scratching noise. She's playing with something. All right, and then here's the little coin. This looks like about the size of a dime, maybe a penny. And it's five something. There, maybe now you can see it better. The national emblem of Kazakhstan can be seen on much of the nation's currency. That would be that right there. And the, the two creatures on each side are Tolpars, mythical winged horses found in the cultures of Turkic speaking regions. The radial lines and crossbars in the center represent the view one would see looking up from the inside from inside a yurt. Oh. If you look carefully on the front of the 200 Tang banknote, you can see a musical score of the Kazakhstani. Uh, national Anthem, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Give this great tune a listen. So there's that picture. And it's, if you can read the name of the score. Those are interesting instruments. I'm not sure. See if you can see it and let me know. Is it near, the, above the hand? The futuristic looking monument right here on the 200 tank banknote known as Beiterek Tower is found in the nation's capital, Nur Sultan. The, the structure symbolizes a Kazakhstani folktale about a mythical bird that lays its egg in the branches of the tree of life. Built shortly after the fall of the Soviet Union, it was constructed as an embodiment of the ideals of this newly independent state. Wow.
All right. So there's some information to look up more details about. What did you think? Is it something that you would um, be interested in? Would you, how would you use it? Would you use it to, uh, to collect money? Would you use it to look up more information about a country and to learn more? Or as a postcard collection? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe ideas of where to travel to when traveling is possible. Let me know in the comments. Is there somebody um, that you know that you you think would love this subscription? Um, I'd love to hear. And I just think that it's a lot of fun. I'm hoping to be able to. I'm hoping to be able to use it with my daughter. She's in fourth grade this year and of course um well kids here are still not going back to school they're all doing virtual learning so gonna have to have extra curricular activities um and i'd love for them to be as educational as possible so this will be fun um something we can do together what do you think let me know in the comments and if you like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up that helps me a great deal subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye